Hi everyone, welcome to part two of Advanced Music Production. My name is Anders and I'm from the Charlestown Club and today we're going to add new instruments onto Ableton Live. Last week we made a drum track and we added a drum beat on a loop and this week we're going to learn how to add more sounds to our beat. Here we go. Okay, picking up where we left off last time, we made a drum beat with an 808 drum kit and now we're going to be looking for sounds. So in the library here, we're going to click sounds and it's going to be in all these different folders, just like in GarageBand or Logic. It's just organized by different sound. I'm going to find a mallet sound for a melody. Every time you click on a sound, it gives you a little preview. Uh, I'm just going to take one of these, drag it onto a MIDI track, play something in F minor and make it sound, uh, you know, unique. All right, so I made a mistake there, but I'm gonna take the first part and I'm gonna loop it. So what I wanna do is go to this part of the window on the top right corner, click the horizontal lines. That's our timeline. So what I just played here is in red. I'm going to double click on the top part where the hand shows up and that will open what I played into this piano roll editing mode. And this window down here, I can change the notes, I can quantize them and make them snap to the grid of any subdivision. Or uh, what I can do is select part of it. If I play it back, I can select the best part and loop that part to play with the drums over and over again. All right, those are a little too busy for me. So I'm gonna take this one and if I just drag a box and drag it two measures and hit Command L or right click and just simply click loop selection. That will loop just this part. Now I can take this clip, right click, copy it, or just Command C to copy and Command V to paste, just like a Word document. I can click back to my mixing window and drop it into one of these slots up here. And now if I click the play button, it'll play with my drums. Okay, and I basically just did the same exact thing for the bass track. I found a sound that I liked. I played it on the timeline. I chose the section that I wanted to loop in the MIDI editing window. And then I pasted it onto my clipboard right here. And when I play the three together, I get this. So the track is starting to come alive. I'm gonna add a few other things and then show you how to mix next week. Stay tuned. <laughs> 